On LinkedIn, there are two types of article posts or text only posts. One is literally just a text only post like this, where you simply start typing and you click post. And the limitation, as far as I last time I checked, was 1300 characters, which is why when I have an article that I do as a text only post, I will say at the end, article continues in the first comment below. And then, you know, when they when they scroll down to the first comment below, then then they see uh, the continuation, you know, continuation of the above post. And then a second type of post on LinkedIn that's text only, well, which actually in this case, you can also include images and whatnot is called an article. And so this is what an, what what a LinkedIn article looks like. You 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 can you can have um, you know a cover image. Uh, you can you can you know format it more nicely with italics, uh, you know headings and, and things like that. Um, you know even bullet you know uh, numbered bullets or or bullet or non numbered bullets. You can have uh, hyperlinks and things like that. So uh, an article looks more like something you would look on Medium. And in fact, I have found that. Once I have written an article on Medium, okay. Once I've written an article on Medium, um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll just go here. Uh, so this is the corresponding article on Medium, for example. Okay. So once I have done my formatting on Medium, then I simply select. Well, I, I select not not with the heading, but I select once I post it on Medium. I simply select all of this. You know, I select. Sorry, it's so long. But I select all of this, okay, copy it. And then when I go to LinkedIn and, and, and create an article, I can simply paste. And LinkedIn seems to like the formatting for Medium and it comes out just like this. So let me show you how to create each. Okay, so I'm, I'm on my LinkedIn company page, but you could do this. Well, you know what? Why don't I show you how to do it on a, on a normal LinkedIn page, not a company page. Okay, so on a normal LinkedIn page, you simply, when you click start a post, this is where you start writing a, well, you could do a text only post or you can add a single image or whatever, but it's like, a, it's just like a simple post. And if you, if you paste in, you know, if you paste in um, just, just words, then this is a text only post. It shows you I've exceeded the character limit greatly. Uh, 5488, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so this is a text only post. I can't post it because it's too long, but if I, if I remove it, uh, if I, I'm just gonna randomly cut, cut a bunch, uh, then I could, you know, I mean, of course I wanna, I wanna put spaces and, you know, sorry, line breaks and things, and then I can click post. Maybe I wanna do a hashtag or two at the end. So that's a text only post, okay? And once I post it, then I can comment on my own post if I wanted to add more. If I wanna do an article, then I have to click on write article, write article right there. And once I click on write article, oh, it asks me if I want to choose my company page or, or personal LinkedIn. I'm just going to say personal LinkedIn for now. And then I can upload a cover image. And then here I can paste in. Remember earlier, I, I copied everything from Medium that I posted. Well, I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to show you what happens. Voila, you see how everything, well, almost everything is perfectly formatted. There are a couple of like little line breaks that I might have to delete. But look, everything, everything else looks pretty nice, you know? So this is how I, I do the LinkedIn article more quickly and efficiently, because if I'm going to write an article <laughs> for my own website, I might as well also post it on LinkedIn, uh, Medium and the LinkedIn. Uh, Google doesn't mind doing that. It's called syndication. It's not duplicate content. You don't get a duplicate content penalty by doing this. This is called syndication. Uh, when it comes to Medium and LinkedIn and your website. So anyway, that's that. And, um, and then once you're done, you simply click on publish at the top right and it, uh, it sends it out. So I hope that helps. Yes, it does. Thank you, George. Question oh, from yeah, that. Go ahead, Leah. Um, mm -hmm. What is the benefit oh, of, hi. Hi, Clint so. wants a question too. Um, what is the benefit of posting the article in LinkedIn as an article versus just linking to your Medium article? Right. Yeah, no, that's a great question. I, um, with, with LinkedIn's article, like native, let's just say native article, right? Um, and what Leia is saying is that, you know, in, instead of writing an article, what I could have done is, uh, let me go back, let me go back to LinkedIn, home, home screen here. What I could have done is copy the URL from Medium and my post would simply be um, a, a, a link post. Of course, it gives a preview here uh, and it gives, you know, this is the preview image from medium.com. 
and I could I could introduce the article here. Here is how to blah 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 blah. You know, I could do multiple paragraphs if I want to, or just very briefly, and people click through. So the benefit of doing this is that it aggregates the engagement mostly on Medium. It gives you more views on your Medium article. People might comment there, but the drawback is that if you're posting on LinkedIn people are more likely to comment on a LinkedIn article in LinkedIn if they're using LinkedIn, because if they click through to your Medium, they might not be logged into a Medium account. They might not even have a Medium account. They can read it, sure. But then if they're gonna comment, they're probably gonna come back to your link post on LinkedIn, your, your Medium link post on LinkedIn to comment on it. So it just makes it more convenient for them to, to comment directly on a LinkedIn article. The other reason, uh, the other reason, and I'm, I'm gonna see if I can go back to my, my, um, uh, my article here. The other reason is that um, uh, at the bottom of your LinkedIn article, I think is your bio. Let me go ahead and see if I can uh, find, find it for you here. Sorry, sorry, to, sorry for the little delay here. I'm just going to go. Uh, well, actually, I do have a I do have a link directly to my LinkedIn articles. So, um, oh yeah, that's the other, another benefit is when people go to your LinkedIn profile, right? And they click on um, they click on uh, you you oh you can feature a LinkedIn article more. You could feature a Medium link as well here, but featuring a LinkedIn article um, allows you to uh, let's see. It says George Cow on LinkedIn. Right, so it's, and I think it has more, more content. This might actually be a LinkedIn company page, right? This company article. But when you're on your LinkedIn personal profile, actually, now we've seen, it's better to, to feature um, an actual LinkedIn article on your personal profile because you know, LinkedIn has a company page versus personal profile. I, I really should have featured a, a LinkedIn article on my profile versus one from my company page. Um, the other thing is when people go to your activity, okay, when they go to your activity, they can click on articles and it's all here. So that's it kind of aggregates in, in, in one place. And, um, but other, oh, the other, the other benefit is that when people like engage with your article on LinkedIn, like it or comment on it, um, other LinkedIn users from their network will see that. Some of them will see it. And again, those LinkedIn users are also more likely to read your LinkedIn article versus your Medium article. So I hope this helps. I mean, Medium has a great reputation, so I don't think people mind clicking away from LinkedIn, but they are more likely to stay on LinkedIn and read. So, so sorry, following on from that. So yeah. if you click on one of your articles, does it show at the bottom or the, or the top of oh, right. your profile? So it shows, it shows it at the top. It top. shows how many articles mm -hmm. I have. Mm -hmm. and, which LinkedIn articles, right, that I've published. Yeah. And then at the bottom, I think it also, yeah, it shows it again. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So everything kind of keeps on LinkedIn. Whereas if, if you, if they click through to Medium, mm -hmm. um, sure, Medium at the bottom gives, gives an encouragement to subscribe to my Medium newsletter and it shows me more of George Cow's articles. I'm already subscribed to my own newsletter. So that's why it doesn't, mm -hmm. not letting me subscribe, but, but it shows yeah. more of my, but then now they're on Medium rather than on LinkedIn and they might not be logged into Medium. That's yeah. the thing. So yeah. on LinkedIn, okay. they're more likely to then uh, click through to your profile and follow, you mm -hmm. know, that kind of thing. So follow so. on question. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I'm hugging the spotlight here. Yeah. Um, should I then also set up like a business LinkedIn profile or just keep it? As yeah. My yeah. So this is relatively uh, new focus for me. I am now um, pretty excited about the LinkedIn company page because it allows ads. I mean, I'm hoping that I, I have heard that they are exploring allowing pers LinkedIn personal profiles to run ads, but as of now, I haven't seen that possibility. So the only way we can do it is through uh, the company page. And I have been getting uh, very good um, leads, a very, very good people. It's in fact, I feel like it's, um, in, in, in some ways, it's easier to get better leads on LinkedIn than it is from Facebook or, or Instagram. It just costs a little bit more, but it seems to be worth it in my initial couple of hundred dollars testing right now. And so I'm pretty excited about it. And yes, I would encourage you to, if you're going to run LinkedIn ads um, and you don't mind paying for, let's say, uh, you know, well, it's not cheap. Like I said, you know, let's say around three to five dollars per like of your LinkedIn content. But that person now knows about you and is more likely to. And to me, it's worth it because, um, you know, 
for every like they might, you know, they might share, they might buy in the future. And for my business model, it's worth it to pay three to five dollars for even a single article like, because now I know who they are and it, the, the quality is quite high. I've noticed so um, and with the three to five dollars per like there are probably a couple dozen others who didn't like it or at least a couple others who didn't like it who still saw it they might have visited my page and things like that but anyway long story short yes I, I recommend it okay so even if I'm not necessarily going to be doing ads straight away a company page is still a good idea yes well okay. mm, uh, yeah, well if without yes I guess to start building up followers for your company page yeah. Um, because that, if you're going to, if you're already gearing in that direction, then yes. So, okay. Thank you.